Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now yesterday I uploaded a video in regards to my 8800 GTS and the oven bake fix method. Now I removed it after about 10 minutes because my address was unfortunately in one of the shots on a letter and whilst it was down I took the time to do more research into the matter and boy am I glad I did. And to avoid the spreading of misinformation I would strongly advise that you check out a very informative video from a guy by the name of Lewis Rossman of which I will leave a link down below to. I'm not promoting this as a fix. This video is strongly an entertainment basis only sort of thing. See, the 8800 GTS is a very old card and it wouldn't be worth my time or money to get it professionally repaired. It's simply a relic that I like to have on my desk to remind me of those good old days when I used to play Crisis. I wanted to try this for myself regardless because I found the whole concept intriguing and a lot of you guys were asking me to do it in the comments. So let's proceed and have a bit of fun with this old graphics card. Start by completely dismantling your GPU and cleaning off any thermal paste in preparation for the bake. Graphics card dismantling is a very simple process and involves removing just a few screws. From what I've read it seems as though the outcome of such an experiment is varied as you'd probably expect and I also came across a few sites that I won't name who were selling dodgy looking graphics card repair kits which contained a cheap heat gun, some instructions and a bit of thermal paste. Of course this method is certainly not a permanent fix. Very Various myths and odd sounding solutions to hardware problems always fascinate me, but once I read about them I usually cannot help but try them out so that you guys don't have to. After the dismantling was complete I set my oven to 385 Fahrenheit about 195 Celsius as per most guides recommendations and prepped a baking tray with foil and three small foil balls as standoffs. To put some of your minds at rest I was getting a new oven the same day as filming this anyway and this graphics card was the last thing I cooked in this one. After about 8 minutes I removed my 8800, passed my compliments onto the chef and waited for the car to cool before beginning the reassembly process. After almost forgetting to reapply new thermal paste, I screwed everything back together and to my initial surprise, after I had plugged my GPU back into my Windows 10 and Ryzen system, the GPU booted up with a clear picture for the first time in a few days. This being a temporary revival, the length in which this is going to last is a mystery to me, but what I will say is that I managed to play a few hours of Oblivion without any issues. Overall, this method of fixing a dead GPU isn't a fix at all, rather just a temporary reanimation of something that was once operational, like a zombie. Once those internal tracks under the chip, the ones that were realigned from the oven heat, are exposed to more heat or high stress, perhaps from something like video editing or stress testing, then your GPU will likely fail once more. So while the oven solution appears to somewhat work, the way in which it works isn't the way that most online guides explain at all. If you want to do this, do it as part of a full troubleshooting list and after you've determined that nothing else will work. Even then, only try it out with something like an old card, like my 8800 GTS here, as you may end up doing more bad than good. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different video. Like I said, if you are going to do this, do it as a last resort and just do it with the knowledge of what you're doing. Don't go into it thinking that you're going to permanently fix your GPU. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one.